Welcome to the video where I'll be showcasing my latest creation, a fully automated max level steam engine. This is probably my most complex machine yet, consisting of a blaze cake, lava form, and cobblestone generator all in one machine. Before we dive in, I want to mention that this build requires a netherrack recipe from the Create Crafts and Additions mod to achieve full automation. If you don't have this mod, you're going to need to gather the netherrack manually. This machine runs on superheated blaze burners powered by blaze cakes. Crafting blaze cakes requires eggs, sugar, and cinder flour. We create the cinder flour by using netherrack recipe from the Create Crafts and Additions mod, while the eggs are generated from a simple vanilla egg form. The sugar cane is created here and is converted into sugar. Once all the ingredients are put into the mechanical press, it creates the blaze cake base. The lava is obtained by super smelting cobblestone from the generator at the top of the machine. The machine generates 294,912 stress units and runs at 128 RPMs. You can even run it at 256 RPMs to produce more resources if you wish. Instead of using mechanical belts, I've implemented a series of deployers and depots, making the machine incredibly compact. Now let's move on to the setup. Here's a list of materials you're going to need to create this build. Once you have everything ready, it's time to start pasting it in. Once pasted in, you're going to need to get a couple more items to set up the machine. In this chest is everything you're going to need to set this machine up. The first thing we're going to want to do is set up the shafts. Sometimes the shafts are automatically pasted in, and sometimes they're not. To insert the shafts, simply place them here and build all the way up to the roof of the machine. Next, you're going to want to plant water in the sugarcane form. Now, apply your sugarcane. Now that you're done placing down the sugarcane, it's time to apply the chickens. Over here, I've added the dispenser to make it simple and easy to add chickens to your build. You can just put the eggs in the dispenser and shoot the eggs out until you get two chickens. Or one chicken. But if you just put more eggs in, you'll eventually get another chicken. Like so. If you want to breed your chickens, you can come down here and add seeds to this deployer. Make sure these clutches are on and apply some form of rotational power, whether that be a hand crank, water wheel, or any other form of power generation. Now it's time to set up your cobblestone generator. Come up here to the top and waterlog these two stairs. Now add some block to keep the water from flowing out, whether that just be a simple block or a glass trapdoor, whatever you want to use. Now let's set up the tanks. Break these four blocks and break the fluid tank to reset it. For some reason in Create, when you paste down tanks, they like to glitch out. Once you have that done, place this mechanical drain setup and a lava bucket and insert the lava bucket into the tank. Now go to your steam engine tank and do the exact same thing, except this in this one add water. Now for one last and final touch before we get this machine going is to add a one single piece of netherrack here. You can also add a stack if you want. Now you're going to have to dig under the machine and place an infinite water pool so that these mechanical pumps can extract water into the steam engine. Now we're going to break down under the machine and place your blaze cakes down into the blaze bottles. Now head to the top of your machine and place more water in this container and shoot it into the steam engine and get your additional blaze cakes and place them here. That will allow the machine to super start super smelting. If you pasted your machine in and for some reason it's spinning in the wrong direction, just come down here to this precision mechanism and change the target speed to go in the other direction. If for some reason your netherrack isn't working, just apply cobblestone to the basin. One thing I failed to mention is that you're going to need to super glue the sugarcane form. To do this, right click on the bearing and then head to the top of the machine and paste the glue in like so. Once you've applied the glue here, head down to the bottom and super glue this part. Now you're ready to go. If you accidentally break a deployer, don't worry. You can easily repaste the machine on top of your existing setup without rebuilding from scratch. For those interested in obtaining the schematic for this build, you can find the download link in the description, which will direct you to the Create Mod Schematics website. Due to its complexity, I won't be able to provide as much assistance. However, I'll still be available in the comments below to answer any further questions you may have.